Hi, my name is Evan, and in this video we're going to talk about some of the tools that are built into the sidebar on your Boxlight ProColor 3. If you haven't used them before, you'll see this arrow along the edge of your panel display. That's also found in exactly the same spot on the opposite side. If you touch that arrow, it will open a sidebar with some useful tools that we're going to talk about. The first one up here is a back arrow. That will take you back to whatever application you were last using on the panel. So if you're switching between tasks quickly, that's a great way to do it. The other button here, that green circle, is your home button. If you press that from anywhere on the panel, you'll go right back to this home screen. So you'll always have a way to get back here. This works from any input source as well. So even if you're on the PC module or your teacher laptop connection, for instance, you can tap that home button to go straight to this home screen. Third down here, you'll see a blue button. That will access your multitasking interface. So if you go ahead and tap that, you will see here a list of all of the applications that you've been recently running. That's a great way to stay organized and make sure that you can always return to something that maybe isn't the last thing you used, but a few applications ago. The fourth button here will open Note. That works exactly the same as the button on the home screen. It will just open the app here and give you a very quick and easy way to access the Note application, no matter where you are on the panel. This yellow circle here is one of our annotation tools. There's several options here that we're going to go over for different interactions that you can do with your display. So you can annotate or mark up what's going on on the screen. So this first one here, this yellow circle, is our pen tool. Once you click that, whatever is displayed on the screen, you can start writing over it. You have a pen here, as well as a highlighter, if you'd prefer to use that. There's also this broom icon. Pressing that will delete all of the things that you have recently drawn. The save icon there will put a screenshot of what's going on on the screen, as well as all of your markup into the mark folder in Finder. Um, if you haven't used the mark folder before, I have a video on the Finder here, but the mark folder is where you will find all of the annotations or things from the Note app that you've done on this panel. You can tap that red X to clear out of that. And let's try the next option here. This is our clipping tool. You can use this to take a screenshot of just some of the screen, and you can change its size, its shape. You can even use this to expand to the entire screen if you need to take a screenshot of everything going on at once. Down here is our save icon as well as this button which will import that screenshot directly into Note. And once you're in Note, of course, you can use any of the tools down here to continue to mark up that image. We go back to this toolbar here you will see this icon will open Unplugged. There's another video on Unplugged if you haven't used that, but that's our tool for connecting student devices or teacher devices wirelessly to the panel. So you can share the screen of what's going on here, or you can display the screen of their laptop here on the screen as well. This blue icon here does two things. That will allow you to freeze the screen as well as zoom in. So if you're playing a video or watching some other interactive content, you tap that icon, everything on the screen will stay put. And then you can use the zoom in and out buttons or pinch to zoom if you need to see anything on that screen in further detail. The next option down here are some helpful tools for your instruction. The first one is a spotlight. The spotlight, of course, will allow you to focus your students' attention on whatever it is you want them to see, and while keeping the rest of your board hidden. And as you can see, you can change the size of the spotlight. You can also use the settings down here to change the transparency of the unlit portion. So if you won't want it to be completely dark, you can adjust that. The other options for the tools here are a countdown timer and a stopwatch. These you can use if you're using timed activities in your classroom. And as you open other applications, that timer or stopwatch will go down here to the bottom of the screen 
so it's not blocking other content. If you need to use it again, simply tap it, and then it will come back up on screen. This last icon down here with the two sliders, that will be your input menu. This will allow you to change the input that you want, whether that's an HDMI or the PC module, and it will also allow you to change the brightness and audio settings of your panel if you need to adjust those for any reason. That input button there does the same thing as the input here. So it just depends on what you prefer, whether you'd prefer to work from the home screen or use that input on the sidebar if that's easier for you. All right, now you know more about the different options available to you on the sidebar here. If you want to go into further detail about any of the applications here, we're also going to have more videos available about that in this same series.